Hey, Mark Warnke here, packoats.com. If you like my videos, make sure you subscribe. I talk about all things goat, homesteading, gardening, mental well-being, positively changing the planet, and on. But if you need to know anything directly about goats, I am your source, and it's all on packoats.com. So, this is my juvenile pen. I'm here to show you two things. One thing is uh, this latch. Now, latches are a complete and total pain in the butt if you have to have two hands engaged in the latching and unlatching, because you're either fighting babies back, you're holding a shovel, you're holding hay, you're doing something, but having to have two hands in that engagement is a pain, and I've tried almost every gate latch out there. This one is called the best ga gate latch, and they don't pay me to tell you this. I wish they did. I just want to share it with you because it's badass. So you can see the mechanism is right here. So all I do is go like this, bink, and it falls away. Now I'm open, then I'm closed, and I go like that. Super simple open and close, handles different size gates, attaches to different things. When I'm on a post, I just use hose clamps, and I've attached it with hose clamps. So I've worked it on, I think I have six of them on the ranch now because I'm such a fan. They rock. Super good mechanism. The other thing I'm going to just quickly talk about because if you want to become a part of the Goat Club membership, I go into great detail about strategy on the farm from everything from, you know, it centralizes around goats, but it's homesteading. We have ponds and, you know, a whole mountain and we're grazing strategies and milking strategies and raising babies. And if you have a homestead and you don't have goats, I think you're making a mistake. So you need goats as a part of your strategy and the Goat Club membership will tell you everything you need to know on it. And that can all be found on packgoats.com. I'll speak about this quickly here, but I'm going to go in depth uh, on the Goat Club membership is containment of a livestock guardian dog, which is hard. They're harder to contain than a freaking goat, if you can imagine that. This is Storm, my livestock guardian dog. He's a one-year-old puppy. He's about 140 pounds, and if he sees something outside of his enclosure that he wants to protect the farm from, he literally won't give up for hours trying to get out. So here's an example of where he's been trying to dig and you can see that he's trying to get out and what we've done to make it so that he can't is the only way i found him to not let him dig out from gates which is where his spot is the stinker is by putting a board in there so we actually bury a board under the gate and it stymies him and this has worked really, really, really well. Now he pulls it, you can see he's, he's pulled this wire apart. I mean, he works for hours, but when you give him something that he can't get through in this board, it stopped him. So I highly recommend if you have a livestock guardian dog that keeps channeling underneath gates, the fastest way to stop him is by burying a board vertically underneath the full length of the gate and you'll shut him down. So hope you find that helpful. If you find this type of thing helpful, subscribe, leave me a comment, share it, uh, and come do some business with us at packgoats.com. That's how we keep the lights on. Hope you find that helpful.